Yes, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? You getting ready to watch a video with Didi and Cece. But before you watch that video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and share. Please, that helps our channel grow. Without participation, the channel won't grow. So we need you guys' help. So again, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, and please comment whatever video you would like us to react to. Please, man, without your participation, this channel is going to die. Like I said again, without you guys' participation, this channel is going to die. We need you guys to do your part. Help us by subscribing, sharing, and making sure you subscribe to the channel. It takes a couple of seconds. Thanks. Wow, what's good, listeners? Didi. Pranks. And finish, we got a good one for you guys today. Today we have my motherfucking dude Kanye West back to the channel. He bought a this this song came out a while back, but this is special and dear to me because you know he's one of my favorite rappers of all time, one of my greatest favorite rappers of all time, top two. Um, and just it's impersonal for me because you know as a person who had his foster father in his life, but I didn't have my real father in my life. My real father passed away very um, early in my life. Uh, this shines a light on what's important why fathers is important what fathers think of their children and more important what they think of their daughters uh viewer in the channel asked me to do this song because she said every time she thinks about her father passing away she goes back and listens to this song from kanye and this is basically what kanye is trying to put out and this song is basically what her dad used to tell her or what her dad used to think of her so we're going to go ahead and get into it. She said, I would, you know, it's going to be a heartwarming thing. She says, special song that he made for his daughter. Um, in, in particular, his daughter, North, North West. Um, you know, she's the oldest. So let's go ahead and get it, man. We're going to get directly into it. Uh, this is a song that he dedicated to his daughter, North West. But he dedicated to all his children. But main importantly, his daughter, North, uh, North West. Let's go ahead and get into it. Falling, dreaming, talking in your sleep I know you want to cry all night oh. Plotting, scheming, finding Reason to defend all of your violent nights Don't you go up in a hurry Your mama be worried, oh It was all part of the story Even the scary nights Thank you for all of the glory You will be remembered, oh Thank you to all of the heroes of the night They gotta repeat the colors the light is wearing off, reality is upon us Colors dripping off Colors dripping off Niggas is savage Niggas is monsters Niggas is pimps Niggas is players To niggas had daughters Now they precautious Father forgive me I'm scared of the karma Cause now I see women as something to nurture Not something to conquer I hope she like Nikki, I make her a monster not having menages I'm just being silly, I answer the door like Will Smith and Martin Nigga, do we have a problem? Matter of fact, Marlin This ain't me the Farkas I beat his ass, pray I beat the charges No daddy don't play, not when it comes to their daughters Don't do no yoga, don't do Pilates Just play piano and stick to karate I pray your bodies, drink more like mine and not like your mommy's Just being salty, but niggas is nuts and I he said, I hope your body train more like your daddy's and not like your mom. I'm just being salty. That's a shot to Kim. <laughs> That's a shot to Kim. Meanly, he want his body, he want his daughter body to stay natural, not fake, plastered. Because if you look at Kim Kardashian, she's a very beautiful woman. Don't let don't 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 make me understand. She's a very beautiful woman. But it's not real. <laughs> A lot of it's plastic surgery. A lot of it's going back to a surgeon to get those Botox put in so she can have those nice dimples that she had, those cute little dimples, that little smile with the teeth. That's money because she comes from money. She's a fucking, basically a billionaire. She comes from money. 
So a couple of thousands of dollars to get this fixed ain't shit to her. You know what I'm saying? We can't do that. You and I, we can't go do that. So I guess he, he said in that sentence, he wants his daughter to grow up with her body more natural. What you think about that line? It's deep. It's like he telling her story. Um, yeah. Yeah. Most he, every... He basically um, saying how she really feels. Mm-hmm. Know? Yeah, yeah. Most every uh, rap is basically telling a story. That's what rap is. You're telling a story. You're telling an image. You want me to visually see it and hear it. Um, but one of the lines that he says, men are dogs, men are pimps, men are romanizers. And so we have a daughter. Then none of that shit matters. All that shit changes. We grow up being the protector now. We want to be the protector. Prime example, we all seen it in the movie. Uh, uh, what's the name of the movie? Uh, Bad Boys. When Will Smith and Martin, when Reggie came to pro- take out Megan, you saw how he turned on that father instinct. Was checking Reggie. Shout out to Reggie. If you didn't see the movie, go check it out. Reggie became a star in that shit. Go check it out. Reggie did his thing. Shout out to Reggie. But if you didn't go see it, go see it. I almost spoil it for you. But he, there's no Reggie put it down on that shit. Um, but yeah, you know, we become protectors. We become the, the ones that's not want to womanize the woman. We want to be the protector. So I feel Kim. Uh, I feel uh, Kanye when he say that on that. Let's get the record back into it. Let's get it. I'm a nigga. I know what they want. I pray that you don't get it all at once. Curves under your dress. He said, I'm a nigga. I know what they want. I hope you don't get it all at once. Curbs are in each your dress. You know what I'm saying? He, he he telling you, I'm a nigga. I know what men want. I know what they gonna want respect from you because your mama is Kim Kardashian. Your dad is Kanye West. Being a celebrity kid is fucking already tough in its own. But go ahead. And that's, that's why it's important to have a father. Is, mm-hmm. is your first love just like a mother is a son first mm-hmm. love and y'all teach us um, you know who to look for in a man and a woman so when we get older we'll know we won't go the wrong path facts and, 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 and it's he, he basically saying I, I don't want you to grow up too quick I want you to develop too quick. And that's very important that he's saying in this. Let's get it. I know it's pervs all on the net, all in the Perfect. comments. You want to vomit. That's your baby. You love her to death. Now she cutting class and hanging with friends. You break a glass and say it again. She can't comprehend the danger she in. If you whip her ass, she moving with him. Then he whip her ass, you go through it again. But how you the devil rebuking the sin? Let's pray we could put this behind us. He said, how you the devil rebuking the sin? Because when he was younger, he did those same things. When he was younger, he was trying to look for the girls, too. When he was younger, he was trying to have sex on the little girl and try to, you know, do what he wanted to do with the little girl. But now that he got a daughter, none of that matters now. He wanted all that to change. He don't want that the same shit to happen to his daughter. So that's when your, your men protector instinct kicks in. I feel him on that. Sweated these times is the wildest. She got the scars, they serve as reminders. Blood still on her pajamas, but yesterday is dead. Yeah, moment of silence. Next should be off the college and then at the altar. Cause she know that niggas is savage. Niggas is monsters. Niggas is pimps. Niggas is players. To niggas have daughters. Niggas is pimps. Niggas is players. To niggas have daughters. He said, niggas is pimps, niggas is players, until niggas have daughters. Right. We pimps, we players, until we have a daughter, then none of that shit, all that shit changes. And that's one of, the, man, I love that he did this song, because he did it for his daughter. Not only did he did it for his daughter, he did it for a lot of women who have children, young girls, and he telling y'all, look, protect your daughter. 
You got pervs out there on the internet looking at them. You got pervs all in the comments. You got pervs at the school, at, at everywhere, you know, on sports teams. We, we didn't see the stories that happened with coaches trying to have sexual relations with the, the kid, with the girl. and everything. It's a lot of shit that these young girls go through. So we have to protect them. You know what I mean? That's very important. Uh, let's see. That's it. Don't you go up in a hurry. Your mama be worried, oh, it was all part of the story Even the scary nights, thank you for all of the glory You will be remembered, oh, thank you to all of the heroes of the night They gotta repeat their colors The lie is wearing off, reality is upon us Colors dripping off I'm saying it like, I want a daughter like Nikki. Aw, oh, man, I promise I'm going to turn her to a monster, but no menages. I don't know how he's saying it, but let him hear this. Okay, Nikki got on the bed. She got on that bitch and got a call with him, you know? I like that. It is making me sad. <laughs> You know, you, we all want our fathers in our lives to be able to tell us the right things and what to do and what not to do and what who to go, who not to. You know, we all want that. And that's one of the main reasons why I can kind of say I'm the man that I am today because my dad, quite frankly, my foster dad was actually in there. He was a man in our household. He was the father. He was that man. My mama then, it wasn't no mama, I won't go to the movies and we asked daddy already and daddy told us no and mama said yeah it was none of that shit happening in our household it was none of oh mommy daddy hit me okay what the fuck you did to get hit you made me deserve it it wasn't you know mama was gonna take up for us it was daddy was the man in the house and that has been lost today in society go ahead Yeah, yeah, and we actually want to. We actually going to do a couples, um, uh, you know, Q and A with you guys, and we're going to let you guys know her story and you know a little bit of my story. But what's more important that um, in this as well, he didn't say it, but protecting our sons because our sons is vulnerable too. You know, our sons are vulnerable by a lot. You know, it's to me, I think it's like, to me, I think it's 10 times more than it happens with females, but they don't get talked about. And why I say it's 10 times more, because when it happens to us, we're supposed to enjoy it. When it happens to us, we're supposed to be congratulated. He got some GG. He got some GG. Oh, my son got some GG. Not the fact that I got the JJ by somebody that was much older than me. Not the fact that that young lady who gave me the JJ took advantage of me because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Not only did that lady who gave me the JJ was my cousin in my case and nothing happened to that bitch. It was the fact that I was to blame because I'm the boy. So at the end of the day, that that's, that, that, that's the yin and yang. That's and it's no really no song out that I I never seen one I never heard one of a song that's actually saying protect our sons, but I'm gonna say it on this channel, right. protect our sons and protect our daughters, protect our children. Period. First of all, let's just say that. But it's not a boy or a girl and versus, but it's just the fact that no one says it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it for you guys. Protect our children at all costs. And uh, this is very important. And uh, this is why I love Kanye because he's still fighting to be in his children's lives. Uh, even though him and Kim had separated, he's still trying to fight to be in his children's lives. And she didn't have certain men around her children. 
Uh, she went on TV and said that her children want her to be with an athlete or an actor or some shit. That's what she put out there. She put that her children want her to be with, because she's single now, her children want her to be with an actor or an athlete. I'm sorry, an actor or an athlete is what she said. First of all, what child is telling their mama, mama, I think you should go out there and date. Especially if they love their dad. They want their dad to be back in the house. And then that's supposed to be your church, so you want Not just that, but no one... We can go back to the famous movie, Rest in Peace, my nigga, Robert Williams. We can go back to that movie in Robert Williams, Mrs. Doubtfire. Robert Williams didn't have a job, but the woman that his ex-wife started dating, the man that she started dating was a millionaire. Those children could have had anything they wanted, whatever they wanted. He was going to buy it for them because they was trying, he was trying to get with their mama. But what the children said in that movie, they wanted to be back with their father. The whole movie, the whole movie, they wanted to be back with their father. So I don't believe these children are telling their mama, mama, go be with somebody else. When we know our daddy's right down the street. Bitch, you're lying. You want to be with somebody else. You want to put it on your children. But we have seen Kim, Car do this, Kim, Kim, Kim Kardashian do this to everybody that she dated. Not just him, Ray J. The list goes on. How many people? Her list is, her pussy must be uh, made of gold or something. It got to be. I'm sorry. It has to be. Because niggas are stupid to continue to keep fucking with this girl after she didn't burn every other man and literally burn other men and gate. Like, it makes no sense. But that's Kim Kardashian. Can't say nothing about Kim Kardashian. That's Kim. That's Kim. Fuck out of here. She's a tramp in my eyes. I'm sorry. But that's just me. Because you talking about what you want your, your kids want you to be with another man. and da, 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 da. But the man that's actually trying to be a father in their life, you pushing that man out. You saying fuck you. You know, you, you making it harder for this man to see his children. Like, you doing some bitch shit. Like, that's some whole ass shit. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even have those kids if it wasn't for him. But that's just me. But whatever. But... I don't want to get it to because it it'll be a whole different thing. But uh, the whole song was great. I love the I love the uh, impact of the song. It should be an impact and a wake up for more people to see that we need to start protecting our children, man. What you? What you, what you He's very creative with mm-hmm. Big ups to you, Kanye. I hope you get your children back, bro. And uh, you know, continue to keep making great music, bro. Thank you guys for the comments, man. Put it in the comments if you want us to do more Kanye West. You know that's my favorite guy, man. I'ma always rock with, Ke- uh, with my nigga uh, Cat. Uh, I'ma always rock with my nigga Kevin, man, because he has one of the greatest setbacks and one of the greatest comebacks. Because when Kim first got with my nigga Kanye and he lost his mama, Kanye stopped being the person that he was. We just know him as Kanye. We don't know him as Kevin. For people that don't know, that's actually his real name. His actual real name is not Kanye. It's Kevin. Kevin West. And his mama, Miss Danya, when she passed away, that fucked him up. Only real fans know his real name is Kevin. But his real name is Kevin West. He was one of the greatest of all time. When his mama passed away, he lost who he was. So shout out to my nigga Kanye, man. Continue to keep doing your thing. And we're going to put your music out here, baby, for you. But Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe. Comment. Hit the bell. And hit the bell. Let us know what you want us to get into season two. Diddy. Pranks.